So I'm sitting here on a abandoned stretch of road in a 2020 Ford Mustang convertible. I'm not usually one to do videos about cars, but uh, I'm happy to talk about cars, type about cars, and share anything I can share about my love of automobiles. Frankly, there was no way for me to, to explain what I'm about to explain to you without actually doing a video. I'm not going to tell you about how this 2020 Ford Mustang convertible has a four-cylinder turbocharged engine pulled from a Ford Focus RS when normally the reverse would be true. People would be swapping Mustang V8s into a Ford Focus trying to do something crazy. But no, Mustang, this, Ford had the idea that somehow this four-cylinder turbocharged engine would work in a Mustang. And frankly, I think they're onto something. Um, this engine's definitely um, a little over 300 plus horsepower. The turbo lag is imperceptible. Uh, it, it basically feels like a good stout V6 engine, but when you press the pedal to the floor, it sounds like you're in a hot hatch uh, Ford Focus RS. Um, I'm also not really here to talk to you about um, this unique little feature called, uh, I don't know if you can see that. That's some something that they tried to simulate um, stitching in the dash. It's kind of cheesy, but you know that's not why we're here. We're here to enjoy a car and have fun with it. Um, I'll give them credit. The interior's pretty nice. Uh, I do like this metal or composite dash material that they use here. It's uh, It feels nice. It's got a lot of great technology. And that's what I'm here to talk about because this car features multiple driving modes. One of those modes happens to be a track mode. And that's very interesting. You see, track mode, when you flip this little lever here, puts you into these options that allow you to <laughs> literally create a drag strip mode, which I'm actually gonna put it in. Remember, this is a four cylinder turbo Mustang. And where things really get fun is when you go to the track apps and you find this little thing right here. It's called a line lock. Now don't be alarmed if you've never heard of a line lock or you have no idea what a line lock does and probably 90% of the people who buy these Mustangs will never even go to that setting and wonder what it is. But today, you're gonna to find out what a line lock is and how it works. So a line lock is typically put on a car that's designed to go drag racing or on a car that's designed to really show out um, when it comes to producing big smoky burnouts. And Ford had the audacity to put that as a factory feature on a four cylinder turbocharged Mustang, if you can believe it. So what the line lock does when it's activated uh, basically, it allows you to press down your brake pedal, activate the line lock, release the brake pedal. That will engage the front brake calipers and keep them locked until you release it. In a typical drag racing application, that's performed by the use of a momentary push button or a toggle switch in a race car. But no, uh, Ford built this into their engine programming and so it actually gives you full-blown instructions and timing and capabilities that go far beyond a very basic line lock application so the first thing i'm going to do because obviously using a line lock is kind of fun and very much smile inducing i'm going to drop the top on this car even though it's a little bit cloudy and rainy um, because there's nothing like it. Real simple procedure in this here Mustang. You reach up, you twist the handle like that. 
you can push it up a little bit like so. The windows automatically go down, top goes up. I'm gonna flip that handle back. We're gonna put it into its fully rested position. Thank goodness we don't have any rain right now. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this quick. Okay, so to operate the line lock, we're gonna go into the track apps menu, go to line lock. We're gonna select it. We're gonna hold okay to initialize. Once it's complete, we're gonna press hard on that brake pedal. Press okay, mash the gas. Good smoky breakout, brake burnout, all because of a factory installed line lock on a Mustang. There you have it, folks. So as the smoke begins to clear back here, there's quite a bit of it. Um, one important thing to remember is that using a line lock will reduce the life expectancy of your rear tires, but it's generally designed to get them hot so that they become more sticky so that in the opportunity you have to perform a drag race, hopefully, if everything works the way it should, you get off the line a little bit quicker reduce your 60 foot time and ultimately reduce the time it takes you to get from point A to point B in a hurry. So there's your introduction on a line lock and how it works in the new 2020 Ford Mustang with a four cylinder turbocharged engine pulled from a Focus RS.